Um, you know, uh, when you think about sensor technology, uh, there's always a chance to uh, get involved in uh, electromagnetic spectrum. And today I would like to talk about gamma rays that uh, has vast um, possibility and uh, there are a lot of area fields that uh, these type of sensors um, can be useful. I would like to go through this uh, gamma rays uh, technology and see what are the products that are available in the market. So as you see, uh, gamma rays uh, are a type of waves on the electromagnetic spectrum. Out of all the waves on the spectrum, gamma rays have the shortest wavelengths and the highest energy of the waves. So as you see in, the, uh, in this picture, um, the electromagnetic spectrum starts from gamma rays, which is uh, the size of an atomic nuclear, and then goes to X-rays, which is, a, uh, which is uh, the size of atoms, and moving forward it goes to ultraviolet, which is the size of molecules, when you go wide uh, more, it, it, it reaches to visible uh, wavelengths, which is possible, the wavelengths that we can see, and it's visible. Uh, and the next comes as infrared and microwaves and radio. So step by step, when we move forward, uh, the wavelength um, increases and also the energy decreases. So uh, at the start, in a gamma rays, you have a very high uh, energy, uh, but a short, shorter wavelength. And as you move toward the right, the wavelength energy decreases, but the wavelength increases. Anyway, uh, what, why I wanted to uh, talk about gamma rays is that there are different type of application that you can use gamma rays. For example, in medical industry, or food technology, or for uh, geology, uh, there are a lot of application that you can use. But always, there is a hazardous part which is about the health. Because if you put yourself in front of a gamma rays, uh, unfortunately, there's a high chance of getting cancer because gamma rays can uh, destruct the DNA. So basically, that's the uh, disadvantage of this. Unless if you take care of all the precautions, then the chance of getting cancer uh, is very limited. So um, in this article, which is written by Let's Talk Science, Dot .ca I think for Canada they have introduced uh, a very good uh, format of applications so gamma rays um, especially uh, by space industry uh, by satellites uh, they could actually uh, for the first time in 19 I think 67 they could basically um, see or measure gamma radiation from the space. It is very important to notice, note that um, the atmosphere uh, absorb the gamma rays coming from the space. So that's the reason that atmosphere somehow protect human. Of course there are always some level of radiation, uh, but the atmosphere itself can save human being from the space radiation, especially gamma rays. But it was because of a one project, atomic project, that they wanted, uh, basically US, wanted to see or measure the, the, the amount of gamma rays with a satellite, which was lon launched into the orbit, but instead of measuring the gamma rays radiation 
from that atomic bomb test, they actually measured gamma rays radiation from the space. At that time, uh, a very broad uh, or new field of study as gamma radiation came to uh, um, research and exploration. So, um, I think this was the uh, satellite that was launched and could, for the first time, see and measure the gamma rays in the space. Um, in the medicine, there is a application of gamma rays uh, that they can focus the focal, uh, the focus of this gamma rays into a very uh, accurate position and they can with the uh, tolerance of one millimeter destroy all these cancerous tumors uh, but of course uh, it's a very very uh, expensive treatment because it needs a lot of equipment uh, but this is something done as a radiation therapy for, for the patient that are suffering from cancer or tumor so this is another application of gamma rays basically gamma rays can destruct the DNA cells but if the cancer is targeted cells then it can also destroy these cancerous cells the next uh, application is in food industry the food industry is also something that must be taken carefully because the gamma rays basically can destroy any biological um, creature I would say like something microorganism or bacteria so they use this technique to, to sterilize the food like for example what they do to sterilize the milk or kill the bacteria in the milk some kind of uh, pasteurizing or, or dairy um, products um, but there's still uh, research going on about that if this can have a negative impact on the health of the consumers or not so FDA has done more than 30 years research about that until now they say that it's safe but it's an ongoing research so it was a very short introduction about what is gamma ray and where it comes from by the way if you want to make gamma rays or if you want to produce gamma rays either you can do it with um, nuclear activity or some kind of or even with laser so uh, for example there is a very high powerful laser made uh, I think in um, this is in, in UK this laser this one that this, this is so powerful that can also uh, ex, uh, ex, uh, extract no, or produce or uh, radiate basically x, x rays during uh, uh, during the functioning so one of the way of producing um, x ray uh, radiation is with laser or yes or nuclear um, reactions anyway until now so we know about the gamma rays what is it that and let's talk about one cool device that one company so called um, med USA has made as you see it's a very handy uh, device that produce gamma rays uh, gamma ray sensors for gathering soil sediments and mineral composition and uh, with this uh, device you can locate uh, via GPS the location of the sensor and then you can collect high resolution composition data with a sensor designed for effortless surveys gain instant insight into what lies beneath your feet 
I can imagine that it has a lot of application in geology, for example, or mapping the uh, area, in especially hazardous area, what's happening. Um, so you can also use this sensor in AUV, in drones, for example, and just move around and collect as much as data that you need for example, what kind of elements or yeah, uh, exist in the nature. This is a really cool uh, idea, especially with drone, to just map the area and find out what kind of particle or elements exist in the area. Um, so there are also other applications like soil and sediment mapping, as I said. Soil composition is crucial for professionals like soil scientists, agronomists, environmental scientists, and farmers. And then that this can help them to better uh, to get more information about the soil, what kind of texture exists in the soil, and then uh, maybe for planting the um, yeah, so for planting they can um, choose a better. Uh, option or if there is a con contamination in the area this gamma ray sensor can map the area and find out if there is any hazards in this area if it is, it is uh, nuclearized or the right there is ex ex there's a chance of radiation in the area the gamma ray sensor can be very effective to find out accurately about the uh, situation and nevertheless the mining exploration of course you can use these gamma ray sensors to uh, using a smaller craft to just s explore the area what type of uh, valuable composition or structure exists on the air surface and enabling the geologists to detect, map and remediate various elements and minerals. I can see a lot of powerful um, uh, application uh, for these um, sensors and maybe by detecting you can also use a lot of AIs marking to um, safer and faster arrive to conclusion that one area is basically uh, radiated or there's a specific minerals in that area I this is really cool so that's it uh, for today I just wanted to have a quick conversation and uh, um, introducing of this uh, product for this uh, weekly report of products and we will see each other the next so see you bye bye